Announcement. If you want me to make music, tell Ski Mask to be my friend again. Tell Ski Mask to be my friend again and I will make music. Tell him to be my friend again. I'll always love that alien looking nigga name at Sensex. But I had to distance myself because it's like nobody would see me as an individual rapper if I don't. On top of that, that nigga crazy as hell. <laughs> so what happened with me and, and Ski, um, to explain it in an appropriate way and in a way that I can respect, um, it was just, I guess, a, a lack of appreciation on his end, not because of me, I guess just from a business perspective, but he put a business perspective before a personal relationship, and I've been with, uh, been with him as a friend and as a brother for a very long time, so, I mean, it's just on some, like, other shit, to be honest, it's not even on some, like, it's not even on anything I've I've done wrong. I can't even you can't even say I've done anything to him. And I wouldn't go I wouldn't go on the internet and express express that if I didn't care about the relationship, but you already know how it goes. People use you to get where they want to go and then part ways. And I've been used a lot. I check it up and check it out now. Well, well, well. Now ski mask the slump god and X, they day ones, okay? They get it from the mud. Now Basically, man, they came up on the underground SoundCloud scene together, but it felt like when X got out of jail and after the whole Rob Stowe incident where X eventually got punched, looked like when that happened, they kind of went separate ways. Now, I kind of chalked it up to, well, maybe Ski Mask is signed, and it actually is signed. Since he signed and X was independent at the time, when you're signing, they're going to put you on tours with different people. You're going to be hanging with different crowds. Of course, X isn't signed, so they're not going to be together all the time. So I said, maybe that's the reason why we ain't see them together. Now, I ain't going to lie and in full disclosure. You know, I mean, I had a conversation with X, and I don't think you'd mind if I told y'all this because he has gotten into why him and, and Ski Mask aren't friends really at the moment. But basically, what he told me, he said, listen, man, with the whole thing with Rob Stone, he said, I ain't even know the full story. He said, this is how loyal I am. He said, I be trained to go. When I hear somebody was fucking up my brother, I didn't even realize the situation that my brother could have been wrong in. I immediately started popping shit. I jumped to his defense and ultimately led to me getting my lights punched out, okay? He says, I'm going to take that. And this is what he said to me. He said, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that L. But in reality... I really didn't know what I was getting into, okay? But I ride for my dog, okay? Now, if X thought that, you could imagine that X is thinking that, listen, if, listen, imagine this, right? If you're in the club with one of your friends and one of your friends is hella drunk or some shit, stepping over people's shoes and somebody swing on him, and you, of course, you're now in a brawl because your friend's in a brawl and you beat some niggas up or you probably got beat up, at the end of the night, man, win, lose, draw, whatever it is, you expect your homie to be like, man, I'm glad you were there to rock with me. And, of course, that goes a long way to show how down you are as friends, okay? I'm not too sure if that contributed to where they are now, but I know X felt that way at the moment. He felt like, yo, I didn't even know the whole situation. I just wrote out for you, and I don't feel like you understood the levity of the situation. Regardless, X threatened to quit music because Ski Mask was not his friend, okay? Now, Ski Mask did respond because he said... I'll always love that alien looking nigga named X. I had to distance myself because nobody would see me as an individual rapper. If I don't, on top of that, that nigga's crazy. Now, kind of conflicted about his statement, okay? Now, I always say you have to stand alone. I always, well, the saying that I say is that you will never shine if you live in another man's shadow. X is a bigger artist. If you're right next to him like a fucking tick, like lice, You'll never get your proper due credit because X is a bigger artist, okay? Listen, rap, unless you're in a duo like the, or like the Ray Schremer or a trio like the Migos, nigga, this ain't no group activity. You got to stand on your own too and you got to get it, okay? So when I see artists always linking up, acting like they buddy-buddy, are y'all both trying to be number one or y'all think y'all can share this number one shit? It just can't happen, okay? But I understand at some points you link up. So eventually... Ski Mask realized he had to separate. Now, I ain't got no problem with that. I encourage that. Okay? Now, the problem I kind of had with his statement was him saying, well, also, that nigga is crazy as hell. 
if he stopped hanging out with X because X is now doing some stuff he doesn't agree with, I got to take a little bit of pause and say, Ski Mask, you know X from a long time ago. He's been doing these quote, quote, crazy, dumb stuff this whole time, okay? Why didn't you step away when y'all both needed each other before y'all blew up, okay? Why didn't you step away back then? What is it now? Is it his case? Is it the huge, bad, negative press? That's why you're stepping away. Again, I'm just kind of hypothesizing here, but I'm hoping that's not the reason, okay? I'm hoping he just wanted to build his own career, his own man. But if he stepped away because he felt like X was getting a little bit too much bad press and he don't want to be associated with that, I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's genuine. You don't use a nigga. And when I mean use a nigga, you don't capitalize off a nigga's buzz when you can and it benefits you. And as soon as you realize you have benefited enough and that nigga might be going through some shit, you're like, whoa, nigga, I'm out. I don't think that's what you call a friend. Again, I don't know the full situation. But I am giving my uh, constructive uh, opinion. And, I mean, I do know some of the stuff in between, but I haven't heard from both sides. Ski Mask, reach out to me, my nigga. I don't really think we've had a conversation, but you definitely seem cool. All right? Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to Academics. I'm up.